guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is another day, it is a good day for a shoe comparison. We want to compare the Hasix Metal Racer, the carbon plated shoes, 200 euro, versus uh, Adidas RC3, uh, traditional shoe, um, 80 euro. The difference is that one is carbon plated, it's really expensive, and the second one is traditional and really cheap. We want to compare the running dynamics, so we'll do some tests. Here is the list of the tests that we'll do. The device that we will use to collect the, the metrics are the Garmin uh, chest strap and uh, the, the stride pod. And yeah, let's find out. As usual guys, thanks to all of you who is watching the videos and who is already subscribed, so is supporting the channel. And for uh, whom is not yet subscribed, consider to subscribe to activate the notification bell so that you will not miss any video. So, second test completed. Now we have the third one. Third test completed. Who? <laughs> Early in the morning is tough. So, fourth test completed. Uh, next one is the fastest one. So guys, the first series is completed. Now let's change the shoe and repeat all this test. Two tests left. And here we are guys, we completed the, all these tests. So now let's see the results. So guys, we want to check if uh, there is any difference in the metrics collected which could affect the running economy, especially on the long distance run. Before to see and comment the results, let's have a look uh, to the metrics we have collected. So basically the ground contact time, which indicates the amount of time that uh, your foot is in contact with the ground uh, on each step, measured in milliseconds. The average vertical oscillation ratio, that is the vertical oscillation divided by your stride length, it should be under 10% if you want to run uh, with the optimal efficiency. The stride length, which is the distance covered uh, when you take two steps. Running power, so the amount of energy we are spending uh, during a given period of time. The form power ratio, which is the form power divided by the total power lower values may indicate uh, greater efficiency and finally the length spring stiffness which measures the stiffness of the muscles and tendons in your leg and therefore it is a measure of uh, how well a runner recycles the energy applied to the ground in each stride increases indicate economy improvement over time that being said now let's see and comment the results as you can see from the figures in regard the form running power and uh, the leg stiffness, we don't have a big difference. It is also nice to see that uh, my vertical oscillation ratio was below 10% for all the tests. Really proud of it. <laughs> Looking now to the figures related to the average ground contact time and the vertical oscillation ratio, we noticed that uh, at a certain pace, around 4 minutes 50 seconds per kilometer, 6 minutes 50 seconds uh, per mile, we have a change in our data. While uh, till this pace the RC3 has a lower ground contact time and a lower vertical oscillation ratio, which means that uh, the shoe is performing better than the Meta Razer because allow me to run more efficiently. When we increase the pace, the Meta Razer start to be better than the RC3 because it has a lower ground contact time and vertical oscillation ratio. So basically, why for the first two tests, uh, the slower ones, the RC3 seems to perform better than the MetaRazer. For the faster tests, the MetaRazer has better results. And we can also notice this change in this graph. 
where in green and orange we have uh, the ground contact time of the meta razor and the HC3 respectively and in blue and gray we have the vertical oscillation ratio uh, of the meta razor and the HC3 respectively so guys basically we noticed that once we increment the pace the carbon plates start to perform better how much better i cannot really quantify from this test but it would be interesting to check uh, this result even for fast paces probably the difference is bigger but the result is clear the running economy could be better for faster paces using the meta razor with the carbon plate so now if it works or not to spend the money for the meta razor it is up to you of course it depends on which kind of runner you are so which is your race pace and uh, if you are always looking for your personal best but important is to notice that the carbon plate gives you an advantage starting from a certain pace and if your race pace is lower maybe it could not have too much sense to spend the extra money guys that's it for today hope you liked the video uh, leave me a thumbs up uh, so that i understand that you like this kind of video and uh, as usual consider to subscribe to activate the notification bell so that you will not miss any video and see you soon in the next video Ciao!